After Helene ripped through North Carolina, Sam Perkins hadn't heard from his parents. They've lived outside of Little Switzerland near the Blue Ridge Parkway for 20 years. I love my parents so much and I just had to know that they were okay. So Saturday morning he started driving from Charlotte but was stopped in Marion. I basically got to a spot where troopers were blocking getting up the mountain and they said you can walk. A daunting suggestion given he was almost 30 miles away from their house but that's when the adrenaline kicked in. Felt automatic because I I couldn't do nothing and if something had happened to them, you know, tell myself that I made the right choice by not taking a difficult hike. He loaded up his backpack with water, food and a power bank and started hiking. The higher up you went, it was worse and worse, just constant trees down like an obstacle course. He caught a few hitchhikes, but climbed 2200 feet of elevation through down trees, power lines and mudslides. Slowly um, through the mudslides, there's a lot of debris in them and you just try to figure out where you won't sink too deep and try not to lose your shoes too often. But after three and a half hours, he made it to the base of his parents' driveway. He was outside trying to do work and it was the greatest relief I had ever felt. His father <laughs> said he didn't believe his eyes. He came walking down the driveway and it was like a hallucination. I, I couldn't. I couldn't believe what I was seeing. An embrace like none other, with both his mother and father that put the gravity of the situation in perspective. I looked at I looked at his feet and his shoes. He was covered with mud. I realized then they were completely trapped. The road was impassable from trees and washouts, but uh, they were on an island uh, about a half mile from the nearest neighbor. Needless to say, it was a hike to remember. The, the job he did and and uh, and making the effort to come up and, and, and see us. Oh.